O God, whose blessed Son was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us the children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant us, we beseech thee, that having this hope, we may purify ourselves even as he is pure, that when he shall appear again with power and great glory, we may be made like unto him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where with thee, O Father, and thee, O Holy Ghost, he liveth and reigneth ever, one God, world without end. Amen. The first reading is from Daniel. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. There shall be time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame, and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. And many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for time, times, and an half. And when she, he shall accomplish to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel. The words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. But go thy way until the end. For thou shalt rest, shall stand in thy lot at the end of the days. The Psalter reading this morning is from Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, I was said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord. My goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is a portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer the holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life, in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. move on with our next reading from Hebrews 
For the law having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually make the comers thereunto perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered, because the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins, but in those sacrifices is a remembrance again made of sins every year. But it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats could take away sins. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldst not, but a body hast thou prepared me. And burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thus had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come, in the volume of the book it is written of me, to do thy will, O God. Above when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offering for sin thou wouldst not, neither had pleasure therein, which are offered by the law, then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second, by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified, whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us, for after that he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them, and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now, where remission of these things is, there is no more offering for sin. Having, therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh, and having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment, suppose ye, shall he be thought worthy, with trodden under foot the Son of God, and hath counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing, and hath done despite unto the Spirit of grace. For we know him that hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me, I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But call to remembrance the former days in which, after you were illuminated, you endured a great flight, uh, fight of affection, uh, afflictions, partly whilst you were made a gazing stock built by reproaches and afflictions, and partly whilst you be became companions of them that were so used. For ye had compassion of me and my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that you have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. 
but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. We are not of them who, cur who draw back under perdition, but of them that believe under the saving of the soul. Our gospel reading this morning is from Mark. And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples saith unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here. Jesus answering said unto him, See so these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be not troubled. For such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues you shall be beaten and you shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what you shall speak, neither do you premeditate. But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and children shall rise up against the parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But when you shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand. Then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him that is on the housetop not go down into the house, neither enter therein to take anything out of his house. Let him that is in the field not turn back again for to take up his garment. But woe to them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. And pray that your flight be not in the winter. For in those days shall be an affliction such as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created until this time, neither shall be. Except that the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. And then if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ, or Lo, he is there, believe him not, for false Christs and false prophets shall arise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed. Behold, I have foretold you all things. But in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man, coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels, and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When her branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So ye, in like manner, when you shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away. My words shall not pass away. 
But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, not even the angels which that are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch, and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants, and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say unto all, watch. This concludes our readings for this morning. Jesus freak out.